Singapore and Sweden are working together on clean energy and linking power across the region. Last year, they also agreed to share research on nuclear safety, ammonia and hydrogen. In an interview with CNA's Nasha Rahim, Swedish Deputy Prime Minister Ebba Busha shared the potential nuclear energy holds for the country. Sweden relies on low-carbon sources, mainly hydropower, wind and nuclear. It currently has six active nuclear reactors, which generates 30% of the country's electricity. And when it comes to new advancements like small modular reactors, the country is planning to build between three and five of them within the next decade. In comparison, Singapore mostly relies on fossil fuel and is currently building capabilities to study nuclear power. But no decision has been made. I met with Sweden's Deputy Prime Minister, Ebba Bush, to understand more about the country's nuclear journey. For the first time in 50 years, Sweden is planning to deploy new nuclear power. What were the factors that led Sweden to this decision? We realised that, well, we need to electrify and we need to do that at large scale. And if you want to do that fossil free, well, for many countries like Sweden, the answer will be new nuclear power. So this is the reason and we're actually expecting our first new application for nuclear by the end of this year. When it comes to the evolution of the nuclear industry in Sweden, what kind of opportunity do you see uh, present itself in the next few years, especially as you look at small modular reactors? There's a huge investment opportunity with this and I believe that my vision is at least that around the Nordic Baltic Sea area, I would like to see at least coordinated purchases of SMRs, pushing prices down but also making it possible to collaborate on both the know-how, so between universities, the actual building process of SMRs and the whole ecosystem that comes with it and the entrepreneurs that will have to deliver into this system. One analyst says that taking a page out of Sweden's playbook will give Singapore further insights into energy trade in the region. The Singaporean context is that of a country surrounded by many other countries that need to work together to trade in energy. And by looking towards the experience in Europe, not just from Sweden, but perhaps also experiences in France, it will be possible for Singapore to learn much more about how that type of practice can be effective. He adds that this could offer a different perspective from current information sharing agreements with the United States.